Spring Insight is a new technology for visualizing the runtime behavior of Java web applications. With Insight, you can perform deep dive analysis of your application while it's running without any code modification or recompiling. We created Insight to give developers an easy way of verifying that an application runs as expected. By knowing the runtime profile of an application, a developer can quickly gain the confidence needed to move to production. Spring Insight comes bundled in Spring Source TC Server Developer Edition, a free 100% Tomcat compatible web container. Insight also comes bundled in the Spring Source Tool Suite IDE and works great with Grails and Spring Roo based projects. Any Java or Grails web application can be used with Spring Insight. Let's say we're developing this pet clinic application and want to know what really happens when we do a search on Davis. Behind the scenes, Insight records all activity. Here you can see the owner search web request that was just executed. If you want a list of SQL statements that a simple click caused, you can use Insight to answer the question, what just happened? The Recent Activity tab shows a request timeline at the top of the page, and clicking on it allows a deep dive analysis of any request. Each request is broken down by the major activity it performs. Here's the web request that searched for Davis. From there, we can drill into details at any tier, from business logic to database access. Insight automatically exposes the operations taking the most time and provides extremely detailed drill down information, such as this JDBC query. Web applications can have performance problems on the Java side or on the browser side. That's why we teamed up with Google to deliver something truly innovative. With Google Speed Tracer and Spring Insight, developers can get full visibility from the front end to the back end. Speed Tracer watches your browser, just like Insight watches your Java container. It breaks down all the work associated with rendering a page in your browser, from parsing to layout. Speed Tracer not only shows what happened within the browser, it can also show you what happened on the server. The Network Resources tab shows the requests made by the browser. If you see a gray pillbox by the resource, you can click it to see Spring Insight trace data directly within Speed Tracer. And from here, it's just a single click to get into Insight for more detailed analysis. Insight integrates with STS, the Spring Source tool suite. STS is an integrated development environment and with its Spring Insight support, it couldn't be easier to find and fix problems. To grab the free product, go to springsource.com and download either the Spring Source Tool Suite IDE or TC Server Developer Edition. To enable Insight in STS, simply double click the TC Server, select the Insight tab, and enable the gathering of metrics. Now, any applications deployed to this TC server will automatically have Insight visibility. Let's create a simple Grails application to demonstrate Insight in action. This simple application manages a menu of slices for a local pizzeria. If we want to get Insight into our application, we simply drag it onto our TC server instance and press the server's Start button. You can also right-click on the application and choose Run on Server, which will bring up the browser directly embedded within STS. The next thing to do is feed data into Insight. To do this, we simply navigate around our application and perform a few CRUD operations to give Insight something to chew on. Let's see what activity Insight has picked up so far. To bring up Insight, simply right-click on the TC server and select Open Dashboard. We'll come back to this Browse Resources tab in a bit. First, let's check out recent activity to see what just happened. 
By highlighting the most recent column within the trace history, we can see all activity which just occurred. Let's take a look at this operation, which shows that a slice was just updated. The first thing we notice is that the top-level operation contains the request parameters. In this case, we're updating the name of the slice to be nothing but meat. As we navigate down into the MVC layers, we can see our Grails controller getting past this same value for the name parameter, nothing but meat. Finally, we can see that the request kicked off a Hibernate action to update the slice table within the database. As you can see, Insight tracks important values from the web layer all the way to the database. If we want to look at the code related to each operation, we can simply click the Go to Source link, which will jump right to the source location for our controller. If you aren't running STS as your IDE, you can still use Spring Insight. Once you've downloaded the TC Server Developer Edition and unpacked it, you can get Insight running with your application in just three steps. First, create a new container instance called Insight and initialize it with the Insight template. TC Server creates a new directory called Insight for our instance, which looks just like a regular Tomcat installation. Second, let's copy our pet clinic into the web apps directory to deploy it. And finally, so let's start TC Server with the TC Runtime CTL script. That's it. Once Insight is running, navigate to the Browse Resources tab to see all the applications which Insight is monitoring. Browse Resources is useful to get the 20,000-foot view of your application. While we walk through the demonstration, let's apply a little load to the pet clinic with JMeter. This will give us some real-world data to look at while we explore Insight. When we expand the pet clinic application, we can see that Insight has automatically categorized the application into its major components, called endpoints. The Browse Resources tab allows us to sort the endpoints, showing us which is the busiest, or which has the longest response time. Let's drill into the clinic controller to see what kind of work it does. When drilled into an endpoint, Insight gives a few options for locating traces. You can click the histogram to filter by response time, or you can click the trend chart to see what happened at a specific time. Here, we can see all the requests which happened at 329. Insight makes it even easier to tell you what a specific request did. Say you're just interested in what database operations a request performed. By selecting the filter menu, you can filter by just the database operations that occurred, including transactions and JDBC operations. Well, that's it for our 1.0 screencast. I've only demonstrated a few of the many features the Insight team has developed over the past year. And there's a lot more to show, including the development kit and community plugins. To try Insight on your own application or get involved with the Insight community, visit us at springsource.org insight. At Springsource, we're passionate about giving developers the best tool to take their applications into production. Drop by and let us know what insight helped you discover about your application.